You are watching Copilot Masterclass. In this episode, we are going to learn about how can you use Copilot in OneNote. Let's begin. So let's go and learn how can you use Copilot in OneNote to summarize notes for you. Go and launch the OneNote app. Make sure you're using the latest OneNote app. I'm just going to quickly maximize it. You can find Copilot under Home. So click on Home and on the top right hand corner, you can find Copilot button. By default, it will be turned on. So to activate or enable the sidecar, all you have to do is click on the Copilot button. That will open the sidecar of Copilot in OneNote. Here, as you can see that you already have some sample prompts available like summarize, um, draft a to-do list, list pros and cons, things like that. Additionally, you can come here and ask certain questions as well. So we'll start with a standard summarization. I'm just going to click on summarize. So summarize is a prompt. You can provide additional details to fine tune your prompt as well. The more data you give, the more accurate your results are going to be. You can specify a tone, a length or reference to a topic or a subject. So in this example, it says that you can summarize everything about this Contesso marketing campaign in email format. In this page, I have a document about a Relay Cloud Thunderbolt e-bike. It includes introduction about the e-bike. It has some technical specification, um, some performance requirement, functional requirements, things like that. It's a huge document. So what if you want a quick summary on this particular page and you want it in a bullet points? So let me quickly go and write a prompt for it. So I'm going to ask, summarize this page into bullet points and use a professional tone because the whole document is like a lot of blurb. So I want my summary to be in a bullet point. So click on send and I specifically mentioned this page. So it should ideally take the content from this particular page. Copilot is combing through the data. And in the prompt, we specifically mentioned we want the summary in a bullet point and in a professional tone. Looks like we have our data available. Rather than giving in a paragraph, uh, the summary of this particular page is provided in a bullet point. That's exactly what I wanted. And the tone of the statement is in a professional format. So let's read a couple of uh, bullets. So it says that the page is a product specification document about this particular product. Um, it's an electric bicycle. It is equipped with this particular capacity and it has all the important points in a nice little bullet format. And additionally, I can see there are references as well. So I can click on these references and it immediately takes me to the section of the document where these bullet points are taken from. So that's great. If I scroll down, um, I can actually click on these references to gain more understanding about where these data are coming from. If I'm happy about it, I can simply click on this copy option and I can scroll down to the bottom of the document. I can type summary and I'm going to just paste the summary which I just copied from Copilot. As a user, if you are going through a huge document, if you want a quick summary, you can basically ask Copilot to summarize. Additionally, if you want to narrow the scope of your summary, you can select a, a particular portion of the document and you can ask some questions related to that rather than from the entire document. So that's how summarization in Copilot for OneNote work. In the next example, let's go and learn how can you create a to-do list or a task in OneNote with Copilot. So in my OneNote, um, I have a separate page. This is where I track the one-on-one -on -one meetings I have with my manager every month. So this is a sample meeting notes example to showcase that this is how one could note down few things. So I want to come to this page and um, I want to ask Copilot based on all the content available in this meeting notes, create a to-do list for me so that I know what are the tasks which is pending from my end to execute. Let's go to the Copilot and click on the chat window and I'm going to ask get a to-do list from the meeting notes with my manager from this particular page. Click on send. So if you notice, I have some sample data on some meeting notes. It's not even accurate. I've just put some data in. Let's see what Copilot can come up with. Ideally, what I'm looking for is a to-do list. All right, so it looks like Copilot created a to-do list. So here is the to-do list from your meeting notes with your manager on this page. Based on the data available here, it says that 
create a marketing plan based on the sales input. So if I want to know when my manager asked me to do it, I can click on this reference point. It takes me to that particular section. So you can see that that's available from the meeting which happened on January 2024. And there is an action which I need to take, which is create a marketing plan based on the sales input. That's that's good. Um, so if I if you have heaps of data available and if you forget to take action or create plan for the action item, this is a great way to do it. The next is get approval from the audit and rec risk committee. So click on this reference to see where this is coming from. All right, so I can see that it is again taken from uh, another action item which is available in the document. Uh, let's look at another action item. Come prepared for the next meeting on future roles and plans. So let's click on that. All right, so it picked up from the meeting which happened on Feb. So there is an action which I had to take for the next meeting. I have to prepare for the future roles and plans. So that is picked up as well. So this is really good. So I can copy this and I can paste it and I can make a to do tag and it immediately creates a tag for me. In the next example, we are going to learn about how to create project plans in OneNote with the help of Copilot. So let's go to your OneNote application. This time I'm going to go to the Contoso marketing plan. So this particular document include a marketing plan, some target market, some example about the cost, implementation plan, etc. So I want to create a project plan based on this particular document. So let's go to the Copilot button and in the chat window, type in your prompt. All right, so I typed in a prompt. So this time I'm asking Copilot to draft a plan for a project to develop a marketing strategy. An additional prompt I'm giving is reference the target market. So there is a target market section in this document. So I'm asking Copilot specifically to reference this part and the marketing objective. So there is another section called marketing objective. So I want Copilot to compare the target market and marketing objective on this particular page to help me create a project plan. So let's see what Copilot can come up with and I'm going to click on send. Copilot is working on my request. Okay, Copilot have created a project plan. So let's go and quickly read. The information is based on the information on this page. The marketing objective is to develop the marketing strategy and uh, the strategy is to define the target market conduct market research, develop marketing objective. All of these topics are relevant for creating a project plan based on the data available in this particular document. If I'm happy with the content, so I can simply click on the copy button. I can go to the bottom of the page, add a section called draft project plan and copy the plan which Copilot have suggested me. And I could use this as the starting point to build on top of it. Next, we are going to learn about how can you rewrite text in OneNote with the help of Copilot. I have a sample resume file which I'm working on right now. And what if I want to get some suggestion on, on how I can frame it much better. So if this is the document you're working on um, and this is a section you want to rewrite, just select the section of the text which you want Copilot to work on and right click. And on the top, click on Copilot. Copilot can do either summary or create a to-do list or rewrite. So what we are doing right now is to learn how you can use rewrite function. So click on rewrite. Copilot is working on the document or the particular portion of the document we just selected. And it is going to give you a new version. And you could probably use this as a starting point. If you don't like it, you can discard it or you can keep it. At the same way, I'm just going to select some bullet points as well and right click, go to Copilot and click on rewrite. It changed the bullets into a nice paragraph based on all the content available in the bullet section. So this is great. Imagine if you are going through a marketing document or something like that, or like a product design document and you didn't particularly like this section, rather than you are breaking your head to do it, you can simply click on right click and click on rewrite. This is actually a really good option and very simple and effective as well. All right, so in this way, like Copilot actually summarized the whole section over here into a nice little paragraph, which included all the data uh, from this section. So I can click on keep it if you want to keep it, or you can delete it or modify it. The next, what we're going to learn is how can you use the chat functionality in Copilot to ask more questions about your notes and research questions. 
So let's go to your OneNote and just pick a note where you want to ask certain question. Let's assume this is the document you're working on. You want to ask some specific questions about this particular document. And I have heaps of data, but if I want to extract some piece of information from this document, let's ask first question. Who are the stakeholders on this particular project? Click send. All right, so it says that it couldn't find information on the stakeholders on this project. Maybe I have to be a bit more specific about what I need. So I'm going to ask slightly a different prompt, but basically I want to get the same thing what I wanted. Who are the people responsible for the Contiso marketing implementation plan in this page? So click send. Hopefully this time Copilot can come up with an answer. All right, so this time I get a response. So according to this information on this page, people responsible for the implementation of Contiso are project manager, consultant, digital marketer, marketing manager, etc. So I have a section called um, implementation plan. So here you can see that the people responsible are project manager, consultant, digital creator, marketing manager, etc. It depends on how can you ask the right question to uh, Copilot. The first question was who is the stakeholder on this project? Uh, it was quite vague for Copilot to get a response, but when I changed the question into different format, I got what exactly I wanted. The art of prompting is something which we all have to learn. Additionally, you can do a few other things as well. So let me quickly show you some example prompts. I'm going to go to a new page. So I'm going to ask Copilot to create an Easter shopping list for an egg hunt. And I'm giving additional details like for a group of kids aged 6 to 12, include snacks, drinks and activities. So click send. All right, so I got the response. Let's go and read about it. So rather than reading about it, I'm just going to quickly copy it and I'm going to paste it in the new page so we can read it clearly. So here is the Easter egg shopping list. You can see that it included plastic Easter eggs, small toys because we mentioned about age of the kids, chocolate candy to fill the eggs, Easter basket and things like that. So if I want to quickly create this as the to-do list, all I have to do is right click, go to Copilot and click on to-do list. So that converts that list into a to-do list as well. And then now you have the shopping list. So when you start shopping, use the OneNote to complete the to-do list by checking these items. There are a few other things you can do as well. So I would encourage you to try your prompting skill on your OneNote. I hope you find the information useful. I will see you on the next video. Take care.